The fact is I was raised in a very liberal household. My mother, an FDR, uh, JFK, uh, Democrat. Uh, uh, and she had Democrat candidates' posters on the roof of our car, much to our horror and embarrassment when we were young. Uh, um, she was somewhat active in Democrat politics, uh, loved my mother very much, God rest her soul. Um, we were all kind of raised that way. Um, I was 16 when Jimmy Carter was elected president, and I was 20 when Ronald Reagan uh, was elected president. I was going to college at the time President Reagan was elected, and I was being propagandized by the news media, by my college professors, by living in Santa Barbara, California at the time. Ronald Reagan was uh, Satan himself. He was, he was, you know, Ronald Wilson Reagan, 666 is the Antichrist. He's going to lead to the apocalypse. Uh, and uh, I was kind of buying into it in 1980, 1981. And he was going to cause nuclear war with the Soviet Union and the staring down Gorbachev and all that. By the time Ronald Reagan was up for re-election, I was just completely turned around. I, I realized that Jimmy Carter was a joke, a tragic joke uh, for this country, that Ronald Reagan was right about everything, that there are bad people in the world, you have to stand up to them, that the free market is the best way to go, that America's political system is the best political system in the world, that it's fragile, that it must be defended, uh, and that it's worth standing up for and fighting for and dying for. And it was, and it was quite simply Ronald Reagan who who I had no respect for in 1980-81, uh, you know, a, a, a terrible thing that I have to live with is that my first vote was cast for Jimmy Carter, but I'm very proud to say that my second vote for president was, was cast for Ronald Reagan. Um, and if it weren't for Ronald Reagan, where would we all be? I wouldn't be here today uh, hosting conservative talk radio, but where would we all be?